our favorite new game on the jump is back. Is it BS or is it real talk? I want to begin with Karis LeVert. Woo. All right, so he was addressing Ooh. the laughter that Joel and Ben Simmons had after that, uh, that elbow, right? So here's the elbow in the face, right? And then he said he was sorry. It sounded but, sincere and then... And then all the laughing yeah. afterward. And he kind of tried to make an excuse for it, right? It was a, kind of an excuse. And then here was Karis LeVert. We really didn't really like that. We thought that was kind of disrespectful, especially after the elbow he threw. It is what it is. There's no love lost. It's a playoff series. We expect that. All right, guys. BS or real talk? What do you got? I think that's real talk. Yeah? You think it's... Nope. BS. All right, why? What are you calling on him? Well... Are you referring to Embiid? I thought it was BS. You do not apologize in the playoffs. Ooh, you're going all the way what back. Are, what are you apologizing for? You still got three games to win. So he said it was an BS. accidental elbow, and he felt bad that he elbowed him. I don't think it was an accident. I was saying, he didn't look like he felt he bad. He knew it was a shot blocker back there. Right. Okay? He was trying to find him. Yep. And this he found This series him. is yep. getting so spicy, that even, is with, even BS with Scotty. He apologized, and then you're going to go on the podium and start laughing. Right. It's going to be a game tonight. Right, right. So you're like, you shouldn't even, shouldn't even nah, bother. No, you shouldn't even address it. Let right, the officials right. do their job and you keep playing. There we go. Maybe you apologize after the series is over. But Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. As long as, long as we're in the trenches, yep. you better bring all you got. <laughs> Man. All right, well, I want to keep going through this because next up, Jared Dudley had some words on Ben Simmons. He said, quote, Ben Simmons is a great player in transition. And once you get him in the half court, he's average. Real talk or BS? What do you got? I think it was 100% BS. Oh, wait. So wait, you're on real talk. Go back. Oh. I'm 100%. No. You, you turn it around. No. No. I think real talk. Oh, you think real talk? Real talk. Okay. Real talk. Okay. He's like, no. He doesn't like, take <laughs> no. He's like, do not take 100%. my sign away. You he think that's real talk? A, he is not an average player in anything. He is. Argue he, with he, him. He's got the 100% He can be sometimes up. disappointing in the half court. But he is, I mean, he, I mean, he creates in the half court. At times, he reminds you of magic the way he creates. Is he, is he a... Is he Kevin Durant? No, he is not Kevin Durant. <laughs> Guy, he didn't like that. <laughs> I, mean, I think I, I really think he's a real good player, mm -hmm. but again, in the half court game, he does change a little bit. He can't shoot the he ball changes. from the he's outside. Not, he's not average. He can't shoot the ball from the outside, so he's not as a big a threat. He's not a Le LeBron. Well, here's what no. Ben Simmons replied Maybe. back. It's short, but listen. <laughs> Let's go from Jared W. So that's kind of on your your tip, Scotty. He's like, it's Jared Dudley. I'm not going to answer that. Come on. I mean, Jared Dudley is a respected player, and he's been a really good defender. And in game one, none of the uh, the, six, the Sixers could score on Jared or on, mm -hmm. on Jared Dudley. So even though I agree he's not headed for the Hall of Fame, we love you, Jared. You're not headed for the Hall of Fame. <laughs> he's 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 giving it back to him, so it's fair. But it's I'm holding the same sign for both of them. <laughs> I'm this, in on this series. This is playoff basketball, mm -hmm. and this is what you want to see happen. You, yep. you want to see guys talking across the aisle to each other. And, uh, this is what they're talking about, Scotty. This is what they're talking about. Yeah, but I'm given the fact that they're doing it 100. There we oh, go. Okay. Boom. Lastly, I want to get to Knicks coach David Fisdale. He told the MSG Networks on the idea of the Knicks being hated again. I can't wait. I miss being hated. And once we get this thing right, everyone's going to hate us because it's New York. They already hate us anyway. BS or real talk? Real talk. I, 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 Real talk. Everybody it, hurts, hates New York. I agree, but right now, <laughs> not, right, right now everybody I've likes them there. because they beat them. Well. <laughs> so <laughs> in the event that they do become good, real talk. I think people are going to be excited. Whatever, if the Knicks put together a team with whoever on it might be on it, for that first season, I think there will be a little bit of a honeymoon, even with other fans around the league who are just kind of excited that Knicks basketball is exciting. I it's think exciting people, in that building. It's fun when they're fun. I think miss the competitiveness yeah. that the, the Knicks have been putting on the floor the last few years. You because, liked those Believe games. it or not, the Madison Square Garden is the greatest arena yeah. to play in. But the competition just hasn't been there over the last X amount of years. At least and six. players love playing there. You, you see how players go there. They want to drop double nickels. Mm -hmm. They want to drop 60 points. Like, it's an amazing arena, and the fans are great. Yeah, so I, I think there'll be a little bit of... I don't think anyone's going to hate it right away. Well, look, if they get their Grand Slam and they get Kyrie and Durant, there's going to be natural jealousy. It's not happening, man. Well, you may be right about that, but... <laughs> it's not happening. Ooh. Uh, Ooh, what do you th know? There's, there's always jealousy. Leaving? 
Hmm, interesting. All right, I guess good. forget the Knicks. I want to hear more about this. <laughs> you just that feel there's exactly no way. the opposite. Of I was going to say, a guy you just heard him say he don't even want to take 20 shots. I think he was just. No. Uh, I think he. I think that. He was can't this. go to the Knicks. I think that was this because I think with that mindset. I think, I think he's just saying he's just covering up for the why he only took eight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think it's going to be fascinating. He I, won scoring titles before, yeah, so okay. I don't think he's got a problem so, taking twenty. You're right, and I think he was getting up more than twenty shots. Well, <laughs> it's very true.